Now let us start uh, the lecture number 2 in uh, module 12 under uh, the advanced uh, metrology topic. In this lecture we will be discussing about uh, the different types of uh, CMM uh, probes. So we will discuss about uh, the probe working and uh, how the collision of probe with the machine or work piece is avoided and then what are the various uh, types of uh, probes like uh, touch trigger probe, scanning type of uh, probe, probe and then uh, we will also discuss uh, about the calibration of probes and how do we change uh, the uh, stylus or probe depending upon uh, the uh, inspection uh, uh, required and then we will uh, discuss about the vision uh, probes and then we will move on to the CMM uh, software wherein uh, we, we will be discussing about uh, the uh, various uh, capabilities of software and then uh, what are the various subroutines used in uh, CMM software. Now let us uh, study how the uh, CMM probe uh, works. In this uh, picture uh, we can see we have uh, the CMM table on which uh, the workpiece is uh, placed and then this is the uh, probe. When the probe is moved in this uh, direction, uh, this uh, tip of uh, the probe or uh, tip of the stylus will uh, come in contact with uh, the job and then it uh, slightly uh, deflects, the probe will deflect uh, like this and then uh, the we, we can see here we have uh, uh, three micro switches placed uh, inside the housing of the probe. Uh, one the micro switch is available here, uh, second one and one more uh, behind uh, the spring. Now when uh, the probe, uh, uh, when the stylus uh, deflects, the micro switch gets uh, uh, opened and then a signal is sent to the CMM uh, software. So this is a, a mechanical uh, probe wherein the micro switches are used and then we have another uh, type wherein uh, a piezoelectric element is used or uh, wire uh, strain gauges uh, are used to sense uh, the contact of the stylus tip with the jaw. Now in the case of uh, touch trigger uh, probe, as the probe contacts the job as shown here, the continuity breaks or resistance uh, changes. If it is uh, a probe with micro switch type, the micro switch gets opened and the signal is sent to the CMM uh, software. If it is uh, uh, a probe uh, based on uh, strain gauges, uh, when the probe uh, deflects the resistance of the strain gauge uh, changes and hence a signal is sent to the software. The computer records this uh, uh, point uh, coordinates that means whenever uh, the probe comes in contact with the component that particular point coordinates are stored by the computer. An LED light and an audible uh, signal uh, indicates the contact. In the case of uh, scanning probe, uh, this is used uh, to measure contour uh, surfaces and very complex uh, irregular uh, shapes. And this scanning uh, type of uh, probe remains in contact with the part surface as it moves. For example, uh, this is the probe and say this is uh, the uh, surface work part uh, surface. When the probe moves in this uh, direction, this tip it scans over the surface and then it will be sending uh, the signals to the computer uh, system and hence uh, very complex uh, 3D shapes uh, can be assessed uh, using uh, the scanning uh, probe. 
Now let us uh, try to understand how the probe collision with the CMM uh, structure or the job is uh, avoided. Uh, we can see here we have uh, the table of uh, the coordinate measuring machine and this is the column of uh, the coordinate measuring machine and this is over arm on which uh, the probe head is uh, provided. Uh, we have uh, the probe fixed to the probe head and this is the probe rack. Now the workpiece, this is the workpiece uh, to be inspected which is mounted on a fixture. The height of fixture and uh, the location of the fixture plays a very a major uh, role. Now uh, when the stylus is uh, checking the inside uh, hole uh, feature, uh, the other stylus, for example this uh, stylus should not uh, touch uh, the table and the other uh, uh, third uh, stylus should not touch the column. So in such a way we have to locate uh, uh, the fixture and we should select the fixture of proper uh, height. Similarly when the uh, probe moves, for, see it selects the appropriate uh, probe from the rack and then it will be moving in this direction for uh, carrying out the inspection. So after carrying out uh, the inspection in this particular uh, hole it will be retrieved and then it should be moved up to a sufficient height so that this uh, stylus will not uh, touch the surface of the workpiece. Uh, so like this uh, the automatic path selection is uh, done using uh, the CMM software based upon uh, the CAD detail that is uh, provided. So you can see here the probe is uh, inspecting very complex uh, part. So when it uh, after completing the inspection over here, it has to move up to a sufficient height and then it should be brought to this position for inspection. Now we can see the probe uh, assembly. This is uh, the probe uh, body which is fixed to the probe head uh, using uh, the spanners and then we have uh, this is uh, the probe uh, module which can be coupled with uh, the probe body using uh, the kinematic uh, coupling. We can see the alignment uh, marks here uh, to check whether uh, the assembly of the probe module with the probe body is correct or not. And then we can select uh, the appropriate uh, stylus and it can be uh, fixed to the probe uh, module. The term uh, probe refers to the entire uh, probe uh, configuration and uh, the term uh, stylus refers to the stem and tip of the probe uh, configuration. So this is the stem uh, portion and this is uh, the tip of the stylus. Now uh, let us study the different uh, probe types. Under mechanical probes we have uh, touch uh, trigger uh, probe, scanning uh, probe and 5 x 6 uh, probes. Uh, this uh, touch trigger probe it contacts uh, the job at the selected uh, points. Uh, which are decided by the operator or by the inspection uh, program. The operator operates uh, the joystick and uh, he will move uh, the probe and then probe will move and it makes contact with the workpiece and then uh, the like this measurement uh, is uh, carried out. If it is uh, CMM with the dedicated computer system, uh, these uh, selected points are decided by the uh, software or the inspection program. Now uh, the scanning probe, it con there is continuous contact of the uh, probe tip with the job, but this can also be used as a touch type probe. And then we have uh, five axis uh, probes, the details of which uh, we will be uh, discussing shortly. And uh, there is another uh, type of probe called uh, optical 
pro or vision pro. So you can see here, uh, this is a uh, profile which is to be measured. So the probe, uh, we have to select the scanning probe, it continuously uh, it moves over the profile and then it will be sending uh, the data points to the computer. Now touch uh, trigger uh, probes, they measure uh, discrete uh, points decided by operator or the software making them ideal for inspection of uh, 3D geometric parts. Now, as the probe touches the surface of the component, uh, you can see here, probe will move and it makes contact with uh, the workpiece uh, surface. So, as uh, the probe touches the surface of the component, the stylus deflects and simultaneously uh, sends the XYZ coordinate information to the computer. Now you can see here this is the stylus and this is the probe module and probe uh, body. So depending upon the inspection, we have to select appropriate uh, stylus and appropriate module which can be assembled into the probe uh, body. And care must be taken to see that uh, a proper uh, stylus with proper tip and uh, stem length is uh, selected. You can see in this uh, particular diagram. Uh, the stem is uh, contacting uh, the workpiece uh, surface which is incorrect. So whereas here only the tip of the stylus is contacting the surface. That means uh, we have to select uh, the appropriate uh, uh, stem and uh, uh, tip for uh, achieving uh, the proper uh, measurement. Now in the case of uh, continuous contact uh, probe, the, these scanning probes are miniature measuring machines that can acquire several hundred surface points per second. That means such is the uh, speed of acquiring uh, the data points. Several hundred surface points are uh, uh, sensed by, uh, in each uh, second, enabling measurement of uh, form as well as uh, size and uh, position. Scanning probes can also be used uh, to acquire discrete uh, points similar to touch uh, trigger type. Uh, now you can see here the probe when it moves like this it is uh, scanning the surface and hence we can get uh, the profile uh, information. Very high speed uh, uh, scanning is uh, possible with uh, advanced uh, scanning probes. Uh, which can give, which can sense uh, at the rate of 300 millimeter uh, per second. An extremely robust uh, design uh, uh, to withstand uh, moderate uh, collisions. The low probing uh, forces uh, give maximum uh, application flexibility. Because of this uh, low forces, the wear of uh, the stylus is also very less an excellent uh, product life with a mean time before failure in excess of 50,000 hours so this gives a low cost of uh, ownership now let us uh, discuss the five axis probe systems in the conventional coordinate uh, measurement methods the CMM structure performs all the movements that is x, y, z movements necessary to acquire the surface data. CMM structure accelerations induce uh, inertial uh, deflections into the machine frame which in turn induce uh, measurement uh, errors. Uh, many techniques uh, have been developed that reduce uh, these dynamic errors but there is an upper speed limit imposed by the machine and uh, servo system uh, stiffness beyond which measurement cannot be taken with uh, reliability. Recently, five axis uh, probe system have been uh, developed which uses uh, an articulating head that moves in the two rotary axis as it uh, measures. 
That means 5x uh, probe system has additional uh, two uh, rotary axes, A axis and uh, B axis, along with uh, XYZ motion given by the CMM structure. This uh, allows the CMM to move at constant velocity in a single vector while uh, measuring. As the probe head is uh, much lighter and uh, more uh, dynamic when compared to the CMM structure, it is uh, uh, possible to quickly follow changes uh, in the part geometry without introducing harmful dynamic errors. This uh, results in much faster surface speeds and hence uh, shorter uh, measurement cycles. 5-axis uh, scanning technology allows the user to achieve extraordinary levels of uh, throughput. Now you can uh, observe a motorized 5-axis uh, uh, probe head here. This is the probe head and uh, appropriate uh, styluses can be incorporated, inserted into the probe head. Uh, we can observe here that uh, apart from XYZ uh, motion given by the CMM structure, these uh, motorized probe heads, uh, they have uh, their own A axis uh, uh, movement as well as B axis movement. So the stylus uh, can be swiveled as shown here and the stylus can uh, rotate in uh, plus 180 degree or minus 180 degree. Apart from that, a radial adjustment is also possible. Uh, there is an integral uh, LCD display which enables easy programming of uh, probe uh, orientation. So, the depending upon the uh, inspection requirement, uh, the probe orientation can be adjusted. And uh, this is the uh, digital uh, display built into the probe head. Now you can see here with the use of uh, extended uh, bars, extension bars, uh, probe head can uh, reach into deep holes and recesses and uh, the internal details, deep hole details uh, can be uh, measured. An accurate uh, 3D form measurement even with the long uh, stylus is possible. You can see here by using the extension bars, the measurement volume can be uh, selected. Now, uh, apart from uh, single stylus uh, probe heads, multiple stylus uh, probe heads are also possible. You can see here we have a probe head with uh, multiple uh, stylus. This is a disc uh, stylus with an extension bar and this is a ruby ball uh, stylus with uh, the uh, knuckle uh, joint. Similarly, we can uh, insert uh, appropriate uh, uh, stylus here depending upon the inspection uh, requirement. A wide range of uh, styli have been developed to suit uh, many different gauging uh, applications. These uh, can be mounted on uh, multiple stylus uh, head. The selection of the stylus is done uh, based on the application for which uh, the probe is uh, to be used. Now you can see here uh, with the help of uh, motorized uh, probe uh, head, infinite number of uh, repeatable positions and repeatable stylus changing is uh, Possible. You can see here a motorized 5-axis uh, uh, probe head is uh, fixed to the uh, z-axis. It can uh, orient its uh, angle. Angle can be adjusted depending upon uh, the uh, workpiece inclination, workpiece angle. Here also we can see the inclined uh, surface and board is to be checked. So the 5-axis heads will help in inspection of uh, the, these holes which are at some uh, inclination. Advanced uh, probe head increases uh, inspection throughput up to three times using fast infinite rotary positioning 
and unique uh, head touch uh, capability. Now, uh, in now you can see here this is uh, the deflected uh, probe body if we use uh, conventional uh, probes and here we are using a 5 axis uh, scanning type uh, probe. So, non-linear motion on a Cartesian CMM induces uh, acceleration and deceleration that twist and deflect uh, the machine uh, structure and these dynamic deflections result in measurement uh, error. So, this is eliminated by using the uh, 5 axis uh, probe system. Now, you can see uh, these pictures uh, show a variety of uh, mechanical uh, probes. Uh, the motorized uh, probe wherein uh, the angle can be changed, star type, uh, style, uh, probe heads are possible, motorized uh, probe head wherein uh, the angle can be adjusted depending upon uh, the workpiece uh, type. These uh, touch probes are extremely robust and uh, they are ideal for uh, use on uh, general purpose manual uh, coordinate uh, measuring machines. The feature to be inspected uh, dictates the type and uh, size of the stylus uh, used. However, in all cases, maximum rigidity of the stylus and perfect spacity of the tip uh, are very vital in order to have uh, 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 accurate uh, measurements. You can see here, the, there is excessive deflection of the probe. That means selection of a stem of proper thickness and proper length is very important in order to avoid uh, excessive uh, deflection and perfect uh, sphericity is also very vital so that we get uh, accurate uh, measurements. The performance of uh, gauging can easily be degraded if uh, a stylus is used with poor ball roundness, poor uh, ball location, bad uh, thread fit. See the the fitting of the stylus into the probe uh, body should be proper, otherwise uh, it will lead to improper uh, uh, measurement. Or uh, a compromised design uh, that allows excessive bending during uh, measurement. To maintain uh, Accuracy at the point of uh, contact, it is recommended, recommended that the stylus be kept uh, short. So, unnecessary lengthy uh, stylus should not be used, which causes uh, uh, the uh, uh, large amount of deflection, which will lead to incorrect uh, uh, measurement. Joints uh, should be minimized between probe and the stylus tip, the minimum uh, joint should be there as large as possible stylus ball uh, should be used. Now, you can see a variety of uh, probes here. This is a stylus steel stem ruby tip is a ruby tip and this uh, stem is made of uh, stylus uh, stainless steel. So, which is used to uh, measure uh, the recesses as well as uh, the surface uh, um, heights, uh, widths, etc, etc. Now, you can see here a star uh, uh, stylus and here uh, we are observing how we can use a star uh, stylus to measure uh, the external grooves. So, similarly here measurement of internal groove using the star uh, stylus and here we have a ceramic uh, hollow ball stylus for measurement of uh, diameter of the holes a disc type uh, stylus and a cylindrical type uh, stylus used for measurement of uh, threads. Now, how do we select the probes so depending upon uh, the material? See, if you if you have a soft material, then we should select uh, the probes with low force, uh, low measurement force uh, requirement. So, for general uh, use uh, we can select uh, the SF type and for heavier uh, longer and heavier style like 
we should use uh, the pros with uh, medium force uh, requirement and uh, similarly for grooves and undercuts uh, depending upon the type of uh, the inspection we should select uh, the probes of uh, appropriate uh, length with appropriate uh, force uh, requirement now let us see the details of uh, straight uh, probes now uh, this diagram shows uh, straight probe uh, stylus now this is uh, the thread uh, threaded portion which will go into the probe uh, body different uh, uh, threads are uh, possible m2 m2 to m6 uh, threadings are uh, possible and then uh, this is uh, the stem uh, portion stems are available with uh, different uh, materials like steel ceramic aluminium carbon fiber titanium and uh, tungsten uh, carbide and they are available with different uh, diameters also and uh, at the end we have uh, the tip this is uh, the probe tip uh, probe tips are available with uh, different uh, tip material like ruby, silver steel, silicon nitride, tungsten carbide, ceramic and uh, zirconia. And tips uh, are uh, available uh, with uh, different shapes also. So this uh, uh, shows a ball type uh, tip and balls uh, different uh, diameters up to 6 mm and above are uh, available depending upon the inspection uh, uh, requirements so effective uh, working length of uh, the probe is uh, d so uh, the probes of different uh, working lengths are available up to 11 millimeter 11 to 29 millimeter 30 to 50 and 50 mm and above so depending upon the application we can uh, select uh, probes of uh, different uh, length now straight styli are designed to inspect uh, simple features where uh, direct unobstructed contact with uh, a measured su surface is possible a tungsten carbide stem provides exceptional visibility particularly for uh, styli with small ball and uh, stem uh, diameters. Ruby is uh, regarded as uh, the industry standard for uh, stylus uh, tips. It is uh, one of the hardest uh, materials available and it is suitable for most uh, applications. Due to adhesive nature, uh, Ruby tips are not recommended for scanning the uh, aluminium parts. Now, uh, in these uh, uh, these pictures uh, show cylindrical head uh, stylus. You can see the, the uh, tip is uh, cylindrical type, which can be used to measure uh, threads. And this is uh, spherical ended uh, uh, stylus. And then we have uh, datum end. Hemispherical uh, tips are also available for measurement of uh, uh, holes of larger uh, diameter and then we have star type wherein uh, different uh, tips uh, can be mounted on uh, this uh, uh, head probe head then uh, we have pointed uh, uh, tips for measurement of uh, uh, threadings and then extension rods are possible to measure uh, very deep uh, hole uh, details so extension rods can be used and at the end uh, we can have uh, the stylus and adapters are also possible between the probe head and the stylus uh, tip now uh, before we use uh, cmm with uh, selected uh, stylus 
uh, we should uh, calibrate whether the probes are uh, uh, capable of giving the proper uh, readings or not. So for that a master ball is uh, used. Uh, the master ball is placed at the specified uh, location normally at the center of the table and the probe is a selected probe is uh, fixed into the st pro uh, stylus is fixed into the probe body and then the stylus is made to scan the surface of uh, the master ball and the readings are analyzed to check whether the probes are giving proper uh, readings or not. Whenever we select uh, a new uh, probe, we should uh, find whether the probe is capable of uh, giving uh, correct result, correct readings or not. So we should calibrate the touch probe to determine the CMM scanning probing error, a sphere of uh, diameter uh, 25 millimeter with negligible certified form error is scanned along four recommended scanning lines. So in this picture you can see this is the master bar which is used to calibrate the probes selected. So this is the probe that is selected and which is to be calibrated. So the master ball is placed at the specified location on the CMM table and the probe selected is made to scan the surface of the master ball along the four lines. This is line number one, line number two, line number three and we have line number four. So the probe selected scans the surface of the master ball along these four uh, lines as per ISO 103604. The time required T for this uh, test must be specified as speed has an enormous influence on the results. Many CMM manufacturers do not quote this time unless specifically requested since they may quote an excellent uh, T value but it is obtained at a slow scanning speed. Now how do we calibrate uh, the CMM? Now a reflector is uh, placed at the probe uh, dwelling. So this is the jet axis, jet axis of uh, the CMM and this is the place where uh, the stylus is inserted. So at this uh, place reflector is uh, placed and uh, the program inspection program is uh, run. The reflector will move as per the inspection program. So the motion of the reflector is uh, tracked by the laser uh, tracker and then the what is the what should be the movement of the reflector as per the inspection program and what is the actual movement as uh, inspected by the laser uh, tracker they are compared to check uh, whether there is any error in the CMM uh, movement. So like this uh, CMM can be calibrated using the laser uh, tracker. Now we can also calibrate coordinate measuring uh, machines by using uh, slip gauges. That means uh, this is the uh, table of uh, CMM on which uh, slip gauge of known uh, length, say uh, length is equal to 10 millimeter. So a slip gauge of known length is uh, placed and then we should insert uh, the stylus in the probe body and then it is moved, probe is uh, moved in this direction and it makes contact at, at this place and uh, reading 1 is uh, recorded. Similarly, the 
probe is uh, moved to this place and then it is made to touch the slip gate at this place and uh, the reading R2 is uh, taken. Now the difference between these uh, uh, readings R2 minus R1 okay R2 minus R1 minus the tip diameter minus tip diameter should be equal to this uh, slip gauge then if this is the case then uh, the uh, CMM movement is uh, okay like this coordinate melting machines can be calibrated using uh, slip gauges now uh, depending upon the inspection uh, requirement we sometimes we need to change uh, the stylus uh, that is if uh, workpiece is very complex uh, we need to change the stylus uh, to suit uh, different measurement tasks for example assessing uh, deep uh, features uh, that require long and complex uh, styli as well as using uh, different uh, tips like uh, spherical uh, tips, disc type uh, tips and cylindrical type uh, uh, tips for measurement of threads so styli should be optimized for the application to ensure uh, very sound uh, measurement uh, results. So these uh, styli can be changed uh, manually using a threaded uh, connection. So whenever we change manually, recalibration is uh, essential. Probe systems are now available with a repeatable automated uh, means to switch uh, styli, reducing uh, manual intervention and eliminating the need to recalibrate. Now uh, in this uh, demonstration uh, we can see the movement of the probe. Now it is uh, moving in uh, B axis plus uh, or minus 180 degrees. plus minus 180 degree movement now it is a axis uh, movement now we can see the calibration of probe using uh, master ball before using probe you should calibrate now you can see the operator is operating joystick he is moving uh, the stylus and he is inspecting the inclined surface on the workpiece stylus is contacting at uh, four different places of the inclined surface when the probe touches we can see the red light blinks now after uh, this uh, inclination is uh, calculated and probe is adjusted for proper orientation and again joystick is operated and uh, stylus is moved so that uh, stylus touches the inner uh, surface of uh, the bore on the inclined surface it is contacting the inner uh, surface of the bore you can see the blinking of red light and after uh, getting the measurement points uh, software will calculate uh, the diameter and center point coordinates now uh, recently optical probes also known as uh, vision probes uh, are uh, developed and by using uh, these uh, vision probes CMM can be used as uh, a microscope for measurement of electronic circuits, for measurement of micro holes and for uh, measuring uh, uh, very uh, rubbery materials or elastic uh, bodies. The optical probe capture you can see here in this diagram uh, we have uh, an optical uh, uh, probe and this is the electronic circuit which is being uh, inspected by the vision uh, probe so this probe moves on uh, the electronic circuit and cap captures the image and the captured image is analyzed and uh, measurement uh, uh, readings are taken the optical probe captured image uh, will have uh, various uh, automatic edge detections performed by the dedicated uh, software 
and then uh, various uh, calculation processes such as uh, calculation of dimensions like uh, thickness, width, depth, length etc. and geometrical deviations uh, will be performed by general purpose uh, measurement program. These optical probes can be mounted on an automatic uh, probe changer. You can see uh, we have uh, a probe changer uh, wherein the different kinds of uh, touch type and uh, scanning type probes are uh, uh, mounted. You can also see a vision probe is uh, mounted in the automatic uh, probe uh, changer uh, which allows uh, fully automatic measurement including both uh, contact and non-contact types of uh, measurement. That means uh, depending upon the requirement sometimes uh, the uh, contact type probes are selected and inspection is carried out and whenever uh, non-contact type measurement is required and this uh, vision uh, probe is uh, selected and the inspection is uh, carried out. Dedicated uh, software uh, available in the computer system uh, displays the image window uh, when it detects a work piece uh, edge uh, when uh, a vision type probe is uh, used for inspection. After detecting an edge, it uh, starts uh, various calculations like diameter, thickness, angle, etc. with the regular general purpose measurement programs. Here you can see an edge is detected. This is the hole available in uh, the workpiece. So the uh, dedicated software, it detects uh, the edge like this and then the various uh, points or uh, uh, the, the coordinates of various points on the selected edge are uh, obtained and then the software will calculate what is the diameter of this uh, hole and uh, what are the x, y, z coordinate points of this uh, center point. So like this uh, software will calculate the required uh, details required features. Now using uh, the vision uh, probes and uh, with powerful image processing to tools it is possible uh, to have uh, 3D metrology uh, that means it can uh, measure the vision probe can measure in the height direction z axis also by means of its uh, auto focus uh, function uh, by using this auto focus function well, the height of uh, the work pieces height of uh, various uh, features can be measured and hence uh, three dimensional measurement is uh, possible in ordinary micro form measurement it is often difficult to remove bursts and uh, does for example so we have uh, a work piece like this wherein there is a hole and here some uh, bursts are there so in ordinary measurement these bursts uh, cannot be uh, compensation for these bursts cannot be made whereas if we use uh, vision uh, type uh, probes so these bursts and dusts uh, can be removed uh, automatically. The advanced optical probe softwares can recognize uh, these uh, obstructions like bursts and dusts and bypass them during the measurement. Now uh, 3D vision measuring systems are uh, developed wherein uh, vision system, vision probes are uh, provided as well as uh, touch trigger uh, probes are also provided in the machine. So vision probes are used uh, for measurement of uh, the various uh, features and then the touch trigger probe is provided uh, to reach uh, undercuts and uh, uh, similar features which are not accessible by the 
Vision Pro or the camera. You can see here uh, we have uh, a Vision uh, Pro and then a Touch uh, Trigger uh, Pro. So using the combination of this, the complex uh, work pieces can be uh, measured wherein the, the undercuts or some such things are uh, there in the workpiece which are not accessible by the vision uh, probe. This uh, advanced uh, machine uh, is extremely productive on most workpieces because of its uh, high intensity LED stroboscopic image capturing technique that operates while the stage is moving. That means when the stage is moving along with the work piece, the measurement is uh, possible. That means we need not have to stop the table for uh, making the measurement. Programmable ring lighting is also provided to give the flexibility in lighting direction, angle and intensity that enables achievement of maximum surface contrast for best imaging uh, resolution and hence accuracy on the more problematic uh, workpiece. The fixed bridge moving table design is used uh, for the ultimate in uh, rigidity. A programmable power turret provides control of magnification for optimal uh, viewing. That means whether we require uh, uh, 10x magnification or uh, 20x magnification, so that can be program. So the uh, turret uh, will uh, rotate as per the program and then we can uh, have uh, the required uh, magnification. Uh, in this uh, demonstration we can uh, observe a coordinate measuring uh, machine with the vision probe and uh, a touch trigger uh, probe. Now you can see the movements of the coordinate measuring machine the vision uh, probe of uh, coordinate measuring machine. Now the touch trigger probe is inspecting uh, a spur uh, gear. It is inspecting the profile, tooth profile of uh, spur gear. Now the vision probe is inspecting the tooth uh, profile, gear tooth profile using uh, the optical uh, system. Finally, the software will uh, present the measurement results on the computer monitor. Now let us study what are the capabilities of uh, CMM software. In the advanced uh, CMM software, it is possible to select the required uh, resolution that is uh, whether uh, accuracy requirement is up to 0 0.01 millimeter or 0 0.001 millimeter or 0 0.0001 millimeter like that the required uh, accuracies and resolutions can be selected unit uh, selection is also possible depending upon uh, the requirement we can select English system or metric system conversion of uh, rectangular coordinates to Planar, polar uh, coordinates is possible, axis uh, scaling is uh, possible, datum selection and resetting is possible, save and recall previous uh, datum is also possible, we can uh, do the tolerance entry, out of tolerance computation is possible and uh, measurement of uh, diameter, center distances, lens and geometrical and form errors in prismatic components uh, can be calculated. Online uh, statistics for uh, statistical information in a batch is uh, possible. Parametric programming to minimize uh, CNC programming uh, time for uh, similar parts is possible. Measurement of plane and uh, spatial curves is uh, possible. Data communication is possible. Uh, digital input and output uh, commands for uh, process uh, integration is available. Program for the measurement of uh, spur gear, helical gear, bevel gear and hypoid gears uh, is uh, available. 
and then interfacing uh, to CAD software is also uh, possible. Now various uh, subroutines are used uh, for uh, doing uh, for making the computations. Some of the subroutines are uh, discussed here. Multi-point uh, circle. That means uh, so we have a workpiece with a hole here by uh, selecting minimum of uh, three points for example point one here and then a second point at this place and then a third point at this place so using the minimum of three measure points center point and uh, diameter of uh, best fit uh, circle can be calculated and multi-point uh, sphere using a minimum of uh, four major points. So uh, one point uh, here, second point at this place, third point at this place, and fourth point at this place. Using a minimum of uh, four uh, major points, center point, we can, the software can calculate what is the coordinates of uh, this center point, and then what is the diameter of best fit uh, sphere can be calculated multi-point uh, cylinder using minimum of five uh, measured uh, points uh, a best axis a point on the axis and diameter of uh, best fit uh, cylinder can be calculated that means uh, on this uh, cylinder we have to select uh, five uh, measured points then uh, the software will calculate uh, best axis and uh, point on the axis and diameter of best uh, cylinder can be calculated. Then vertex cone angle computation is possible using the four measured uh, points. So on this uh, uh, conical uh, feature four uh, points should be selected. Using these uh, four uh, points software will calculate the vertex angle and taper of an inside or outside surface of a cone. So if you have an extended outside uh, cone, so five, four points, four measuring points uh, should be given and software can calculate what is the coordinates of this uh, vertex and what is uh, uh, this angle and then what is the taper that uh, can be calculated. Multi-point uh, line using a minimum of two measured points uh, the software determines the best fit uh, line through the selected points. The point of intersection between the line and the major axis uh, can also be calculated. We have this uh, major axis here and we have uh, the best fit uh, line here. So these are the two measured uh, points and this is the best fit line and what is the angle between the major axis and the best fit line that can be calculated using the software and uh, perpendicularity of uh, two lines you can see here we have one plane here and we have second plane here and this is the line in the first plane and this is the line in the second uh, plane so what is the perpendicularity between these two planes can be calculated by the software that means we have to give a minimum of two measure points on each line two uh, points here and two points we should give then the software will calculate the perpendicularity between these two uh, lines or planes angle of intersection a point of intersection of two coplanar uh, lines Using a minimum of four major points, software determines the point of intersection. So here we should give uh, two points and on the line two we should give two points and software will determine the point of intersection. So coordinates of point of intersection can be calculated and the angle of intersection up to this angle also can be calculated. Then parallelism of uh, two lines, you can see here we have uh, line 1 and we have line 2 and using the minimum of two measure points on each line so we should give uh, we should select two points on line 1 and two points on uh, line 
2, that means uh, total 4 points we should give, then uh, the software determines the angle between uh, these two lines, then the parallelism is uh, tan of uh, this angle, and then multi point uh, plane. So we have a plane surface here, we should give uh, uh, minimum uh, 3 measure points, if we, we should select one uh, point here, one contact point here, one second point, contact point here, third contact point here. That means we should move the probe and then we should make contact uh, here, here and third point here. Then the software will establish a best uh, fit plane passing through these three given uh, points and then 3D alignment. So, software aligns the third axis. So, this is the third axis. Software aligns the third axis through a line determined by the part origin. This is the part origin and the measure point on the part surface. Parallelism of uh, two planes. Now, uh, in this uh, diagram, you can see this is uh, plane number one. And this is uh, plane number 2. We want to check whether these two planes are uh, parallel to each other. That means we have to select uh, uh, one point here and another point on this uh, plane. Similarly, two points on this uh, second uh, plane. Then uh, software will uh, determine a best uh, fit uh, line passing through these two points similarly best fit uh, line passing to passing through these two points and then it will calculate what is the angle between uh, these two uh, lines in other words the angle between these two planes the software determines the angle between the two planes parallelism is tan of this angle and then the perpendicularity of uh, a bore axis to a plane. I can see we have a work piece here with a bore and this is uh, the bore uh, surface. The software determines the angle between a bore's uh, center line so this is the bore's uh, center line established as a line between the bore's upper and lower center points. So this is the bore's uh, upper uh, point and this is the bore's uh, lower uh, uh, center point and it establishes a, an axis passing through these two center points that will be the uh, bore's uh, axis and uh, what is the perpendicularity between uh, the bore axis and the bore face. So that will be calculated by the uh, software. What is the angle between the bore surface, face of the bore and uh, the center uh, line and perpendicularity is tan of this angle. Now uh, let us uh, summarize the module 12 lecture number uh, 2. In this uh, lecture we discussed about uh, the probe working, how the probe uh, works, uh, wherein we discussed about the micro switch arrangement in the probe or piezoelectric uh, element or provision of uh, strain gauges in the probe and then uh, what are the different uh, types of mechanical probes like uh, touch type probe and scanning type uh, probe and how the uh, calibration of probes and calibration of CMM is uh, carried out. We also discussed about the uh, stylus uh, changing depending upon the inspection requirement and we also discussed about the vision uh, probes and uh, finally we discussed about the CMM uh, software wherein we discussed about capabilities of software and what are the various uh, subroutines used in the software.
with this uh, we will uh, conclude uh, this uh, lecture thank you